Hi everyone, welcome back to Light and Dark Chat. I am Jennifer, I am here at Dual Crossroads, my store in South Pasadena, and I'm gonna be focusing on another candle-related video with you today. So last time we did a focus on uh, what to do when your candles wax are dented, or, or in other words, just imperfect looking, and we use a heat gun for that. I mentioned that you can also use a heat gun when your uh, candles are discolored or have air bubbles in them. So I'm gonna actually go over that with you today. Here are some of my pumpkin spice candles. Now notice how they have a uniform color per se. I mean, obviously we have a little gradiency going on, but that is intended. Versus what we have here. There's another pumpkin spice candle, but look at the difference in its discoloration. You have things on the sides growing here, and if you were to look down here, look at that. Now this is due to air bubbles, and it's something that you can either just completely melt down the entire candle, whether in a double burner, or, my personal favorite, with the heat gun. Now last time you may have noticed that I did not cover my work area, and that was of my own choosing because I was only going to be working on some small votives for a shortened period of time. But this time I am doing the entire candle. So I have laid down some cardboard. If um, I would uh, recommend if you have something that's more fireproof to use that. But uh, this is what I have, so there you go. Alright, so I'm just going to do this for quite a bit. I'm going to be using it on the uh, second setting this time because I'm trying to actually get rid of the entire bubbles of the candle so I might have to do a complete melt now as I do this I'm gonna be focusing on the edges but I'm not gonna be focusing on one area for too long I am gonna be generous with moving around so that way the glass does not get too much heat on it and when the air bubbles start to release I'll show you what that looks like if this camera is not showing that well there we go see those air bubbles popping up right there look at all that and it's starting to come up here on the edges see all those remnants of air bubbles so I'm gonna keep on doing what I'm doing going around it and we'll see what happens edges is melted so I'm just going to give the glass a bit of a break and you can see that the bubbles are still coming up along the edges. Now if you are getting a lot of this, I already did this earlier so I'll quickly show you what I did, where you're getting a lot of these bubbles forming along the edge right there. Just take your heat gun, low setting and just kind of blow on it if you will and that will help make the air bubbles pop. So I'm going to give this a little bit of a break, and uh, I think actually that might be enough. The bubbles are kind of coming up on their own now without any further aid of the uh, heat gun. And you can see how hot it has become. Um, this is even hot to the touch right now. So again, if you have something that's a little bit more fireproof, I would really recommend trying to stick with that. But until then, hey, this is, this is what I had immediately on hand, so there you go. <laughs> everybody is the final product now I won't lie I did have to go through a few passes on this to get the top area correct I'm um, using the same technique that I showed you in the last video but look at the difference such a difference now it's uniform it's beautiful and it's clean and there you go that's how you take care of air bubbles until then uh, feel free to stay tuned for other videos in the future. I pretty much talk about whatever the heck I feel like, whether it's candles or horror movies, um, magical intentions, history, whatever. Until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.